guys, it's Green Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 43 of Tropical Reach Pretty Girls. Let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. No, I'm gonna wait until the end of the episode to talk about that. Uh huh. everyone No. Are we literally skipping the opening today? I mean, oh. I mean, it would make sense because of the fact is we're very close to the end of this show. Um so boom, like just get right to freaking business. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. I mean, it would have been interesting because, see, the last time we got to a point in the show or really in the Pretty Curse series where we've skipped an opening that was star like the finale of Star Twinkle I believe. It was either the finale or it was 47 or 48. One of the two. It, w it was the final few battles that we had with the girls and everything and the moments and everything but like ugh. Can we just talk about that we're almost done and that the new girls will be here next month on the 6th? Like, ah, uh, I'm, I'm hurting so freaking bad. And to the fact is that the visuals officially as of today, um, it's 11 o'clock for me on Saturday. But hours ago, when I got home around like 8, um, I'm guessing like between 3, 4, 5, maybe even 6. Because I got off of work at 5.30, but I didn't get home until 8 because I was out um getting stuff with my mom and everything so between that time and the time i got home the visuals came out for the new girls and they look so freaking good we're gonna talk more about about it like at the end of this episode but oh my god i'm so excited for these new girls and, and just everything who could possibly be the final character because i've already done like my tweets and ish took care of her. Mm -hmm.
Yeah, don't worry, Laura. They're going to find a girlfriend. Hmm? Oh, the whale. And you think by going and asking her, she's going to be like, yeah, Manitou, whatever you say, babe. Because you're special. Really? didn't work. Which eventually Laura found. Mm hmm it was her. Monitsu, she's not gonna understand. Come on now. <laughs> and I got the. Mm -hmm. I know, like, but still.
Well, really, add an S to the cures, because, you know, they all wear. Well, supplement. The fact that we are getting moments between these three all in one freaking episode. Oh my god. Like, they fucking hurt people in it. Like, to the point, and it's not even funny. Oh god, we haven't seen this in a while. The chicken.
Honestly, that went by a little too quickly, but I understand, you know, we gotta wait for freaking Lemaire to get here, but still. I mean, well, how long? We're almost done with that. We got like six minutes left. Technically, really five. they really end it like this so easily it's gonna be so weird i mean and besides there's like at least several more episodes that we have left like under five me three four or five see in a way it, it's very similar to like kind of go princess where it's like the witch delays isn't really the true villain the butler over here is very similar to like Dispariah and um Locke I believe his name was You don't remember? What the hell?
in a fool's casket. What is that exactly going to do though? Of course, because he's never really going to tell you anything. You gotta love when the mini villains, you know, end up turning on the actual villain. They would stop it right here. You freaking would right when it gets good. These last you these last two episodes they've done this. I understand, yes, we are very close to the end of the conclusion of this show. Really, I mean, because we'll be done in like the next few weeks because Delicious Party starts on the 6th, so at least in like the next few weeks. By the end of the month, we should be done with this, with this show, which is sad, but like, ah! Uh, I hate this. We all still know that the situation on the fact is that a mermaid not, can't really remember certain things about her, you know, learning about the human world and such and the surface above, yada, yada, yada. Um, Laura is still going to find a way to like loophole around that ish. We all know that's going to happen. And it is going to be when she becomes queen. She's going to find a loophole. Now, however this finale ends with these remaining few episodes that we do have left because it's at least 48 episodes and we're on 40 we're about to be on 44 so 45 44 45 46 47 48 we got five more weeks with the show um i'm hoping that the the ending this is good once again i love the fact that freaking flamingo Papaya and Coral got to shine in this together as a trio because yes, and I will be saying this in my final thoughts, my best girl Lamere really did take a lot of screen time and my second best girl Manatsu, they both took a lot of freaking screen time in this dang show to the point that the other three were barely non-existent and they got like one or two episodes on them and, and that was really it. Oh, we're fun. Thank God. Because it would have been really weird to not really talk about that. I mean, your show, you showed it in this episode. You got to, we've seen it barely in other episodes as well. But, like, just the battle between um, the, pre the legendary pretty here and the witch of delays. But the fact is that we're finally possibly going to see the beginning, middle, and end of this unfortunately sad tale for these two is good. Thank God. And then we'll probably figure out how to stop her and everything. Yada yada. Babies win. And then, you know, my babies say goodbye. I cry. And then we get to see the new girls and such. But, I mean, yeah, this was a very good episode this week and such. I mean, we it, with the fact is that we're getting closer and closer to the end of the show and such. Usually, always, the, the, blah, 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 the last few episodes leading up to the conclusion of the show are really when it's at its best and stuff. Even though sometimes, like the mm, quality maybe certain things going around isn't always really like the best quote unquote but yeah all right so let's go ahead and talk about delicious party really quick so like i said several hours ago or really a day ago by the time this comes out on sunday um 
the visuals came out. Now, when I looked at the stuff, I, I literally, and somebody said it too, the main girl, Yui, a.k.a. Cure Precious, I think her name is, she straight up looks like a girl from Love Live. You you cannot literally look at her and, and just, you can't tell me you don't see Love Live when you initially look at her. Um, the Cure Spicy, I think her name is, She's she seems very interesting. She might even be like best girl for me. And then I think Cure Yum Yum is the last one. I love these names also. Um... Yum Yum is adorable, even though the funny thing is, out of the three, I thought I recognized Precious, but Precious's VA is a new is a new Seiyu in this. Unlike Spicy and Yum Yum, Spicy and Yum Yum have been in the um in the game for a while, and Spicy Seiyu has been in Attack on Titan. So now this is the fourth Attack on Titan Seiyu that has officially been in Attack on Titan and officially now become a pretty cure, and then we are now having the third person from the Simple Gear series officially not being a pretty cure because the first was Nanamizuki, Asubasa, then Aoyuki, um, who was Hibiki, um, and Simple Gear, and that was Kira Grace, and now we have Kira Yum Yum, who was played by Miku Seiyu in the Simple Gear series, which, you know, in a way, I mean, best girl Miku, she did have a Simple Gear as well, but, you know, she wasn't really active because she was controlled. If you have seen that thing, you know, if you have not, I am sorry that I just spoiled you on it. But I really do like how it looks. Um, it seems like Yui's childhood friend, the boy, there, there's a picture, there's like two different visuals, their casual visual and their um, pretty cure visual outfits. There's a guy in like, uh, like above them. And it seems like the boy could be Yui's childhood friend if you've seen that picture and such. I, and it wouldn't, I wouldn't be mad at it. I think it would be very interesting. And if it does that, then that is going to be another point where it's like, oh, hey, um, a certain show, a certain magical girl has done that too. I'm not mad at it. I ain't going to say any, say what it is. If you know, you know. Because usually when you say that, a lot of people say, oh, it's a carbon copy of this. And I, I'm not going to say that because as someone who loves both Pretty Cure and that show that both Toei Animation has created, um, I, I'm, there is no comparison. There really is no reason to compare one show because they're both good at the end of the day. Uh, the prince-type character who is in the background, um, of the civilian picture, he looks interesting. The, um, the animal fairies are so fucking cute. We have a dog fairy, and I'm dying. We have, we have a dragon, oh my god, a dragon, a dog, and a fox, and I think that's so freaking adorable. And then I also found out that the Seiyuu of Darkness from Konosuba slash um, Alice Synthesis 30 from Sora Online Alicization is going to be um, one of those type of characters who's probably going to be like the villain of the week. It, well, yeah, like the female villain or ish like that, like the side person, like the, the mini boss to the main villain. And it's a possibility, because I'm going to go ahead and call this now, because a lot of us has kind of called this that she is going to be that final cure. So once she pops up, I think she'll probably be in like that first episode when I, uh, when February 6th comes. When we do see her, once again, I'm going to be like, boom, like when October comes or when, whenever we find out who the last cure is, it's going to be her. It, like I said, once again, it's very freaking obvious that it is her because if you've seen both, um, I think it's Fresh Pretty Cure did it. He, uh, not healing good. Um, freaking go princess pretty cure did it. There's a lot where it's like, here's the bad guy. And then, oh, hey, the bad guy ends up being good. And then they're also a pretty cure. So, and then also star twinkle pretty cure did it as well. And it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be mad. I wouldn't even be mad about it if they did it. But it's, vi you can tell like very obviously you see this bad character and you're like, oh, okay. Oh, okay, I know what you're doing, Toe Animation. Like, I see you, I see you. But yeah, that's all I really have to have to say about that. But I think once when we get to February 6th, that is when I will talk about a little bit more of my thoughts on the characters, the show, and everything. Because, of course, um, Yui, aka Cure Precious, she's not really going to make her first official appearance until the week prior to when the final episode of Tropical Rouge officially concludes and she, you know, pops in to say 
high. But I am excited to see the new girls eventually interact with both Tropical Rouge, Healing Good, and um, I think it would be Star Twinkle because Star Twinkle would be the last group that um, essentially will be with the new with the two other groups until they're put on the shelves and then you know after that but yeah other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode 43 of tropical rouge pretty here if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel i make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all next saturday sunday for episode 44 bye guys